We are about to meet a woman who was diagnosed with multiple personality disorder at the young age of four. She is sharing her personal story of life with setbacks and successes in her new book. Welcome, Gloria Haas. Gloria, thank you so much for being with me. I think uh, this is such a very interesting topic that you're, um, you're sharing with everyone. Kind of tell me about your diagnosis and how you came to have multiple personalities. Um, actually, I wasn't diagnosed till last year. Oh. And at age 59. But they found through the integration of one of my personalities that she actually was created when I was four years old. Okay. So you were diagnosed recently, right. but they're finding that age four is, is kind of when it started? Right. And the last um, alternate personality, I was age 30 when he was created. So I had three male personalities and 10 female personalities. Okay, did you, I know you said you were just diagnosed last year. How did you deal with this leading up to the diagnosis? Well, you know how you sort of wonder how you get from point A to point B? Or when people come up to you and start calling you by the name of Julie or Lori, I'm like, that's not my name. Right. Or you go into your closet and going, when did I buy this? Wow. Or some people think this is funny, but it's actually very scary on yes. two separate occasions. I woke up in a strange man's bed, and the last thing I remember was one time taking a bath and the other time brushing my teeth going to bed. Wow. And the next day I wake up in a strange person's bed going, you know, my clothes are on the floor, and right. it's like, how did I get here? And I'm thinking, you know, what's going on? And go to my doctors, and they're like, you're just doing this to get attention. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very, you know, scary, and especially one time when you go out and you find, you can't find your car. Right. And you're on a side of town you've never been on before. So it's like, okay, which way do I head once you find your car? And it just becomes a lot of crazy making. And it's, it's, you know, it's just then you just, I just started withdrawing into myself and not really telling people because no one believed me. Is that why maybe you decided to write a book about this? Because maybe, one, there may be somebody else out there feeling the same way you felt? Yes, to know, let people know that they're not crazy, that the uh, personalities can be integrated, and your brain, instead of being fractured into however many personalities, becomes unified again once you start taking the role over of why the alternate personality was developed in the first place. And it comes through the way how they're developed is through people who are highly creative and highly intelligent, and all of a sudden they're under, under abuse, trauma, or terrorization in their home. But only when their brain says, I can't live through this, I'm going to die. I need an army to help me. So the brain starts fracturing off and developing an army to help the person. And so how, how are you dealing with this now today, now that you have this diagnosis, you have a clearer picture as to what's going on? How do you kind of function or what are you hoping to accomplish from here? Well, I've actually integrated all 13 personalities mm -hmm. and I integrated 10 of them within a few months time and it was very fast. I was ready. I'd already had 38 years, 37 years of therapy of other counseling to try and function. And how I'm functioning now is a lot higher and better than what I was because I had already reached. So my hope is to let people know there is life with it because um, some people aren't ready to deal with the trauma and abuse and to let them know that when you start going through therapy, your, their memories, it's not as bad as when you actually went through the trauma. And so if somebody is maybe in the same boat you were, where doctors are saying you're looking for attention or this isn't, you know, a real thing, what should they do or what advice would you give to someone that's just very confused or finds themselves kind of like you said, you know, becoming an introvert because they don't know what to do? Well, the first thing to make sure there's nothing neurologically wrong, have your doctor send, you know, to, to a neurologist, have an MRI and an EEG done. Make sure there's nothing organically in the brain that is misfunctioning or misfiring because a tumor can also cause similar incidences with delusions and hallucinations. And then once that is clear, then you don't need a doctor's referral to go to behavioral health. So you go ahead, you call your insurance company, get referrals to behavioral health, and find a therapist that will believe you.
I think this is amazing. First off, amazing that you're sharing your personal journey um, and also that you're putting it into a book that hopefully will help somebody else in that same you know position or just open up the fact that people just need to know more about this and like you said, uh, be a little bit more aware of, of where you're coming from. So that's very courageous. I want to thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to tell everybody where they can get this wonderful book, Gloria. To learn more about living with multiple personalities and to get your own copy of the book, log on to GloriaHaas.Weebly.com.